He enjoys twice the number of YouTube subscribers as One Direction, but he's far from a household name. He's the new breed of celebrity bringing social media success into mainstream stardom. Tonight, our colleague and Yahoo Global News anchor Katie Couric goes behind the scenes with 26-year-old internet megastar PewDiePie for our series, Social Stars. Hello. Adele's latest album it's may me. be breaking records, but when it comes to the world of YouTube, Adele, Taylor Swift, and Beyonce combined can't top this guy's numbers. I can't even fight my mom! I want that gorgeous mouth. PewDiePie! 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 They call him PewDiePie. Yes. Hey man, you wanna go on a date? Famous for recording himself playing video games. Oh my god. <laughs> what the I can't find a beast now? How did you get the name PewDiePie? It's like any gamer, I guess. We all have our nicknames. I would nick PewDie, because Pew, like the lasers, pew pew. Um, and I would yell out PewDiePie whenever I did well in games. And people would just laugh, and I just go, went with it. They told me I could become anything. His real name, Felix Chelberg. <laughs> The 26-year-old online gamer currently has the most popular channel on YouTube with over 40 million subscribers. His videos now seen over 10 billion times. When the numbers started to climb, though, I mean, it must have been a little mind-blowing for you, was it? I never expected it. <laughs> I've never been the popular guy or whatever, so to all of a sudden be in the situation where there's so many people who loves what you do and appreciates what you do, that's amazing and I couldn't be happier about it. Oh, look at that ass. It all started five years ago when the Swedish gamer began uploading videos of himself playing games along with some colorful commentary. My nervous use is not eight, it's at least 7.5. People watch for many different reasons. Maybe you watch someone else play a game because you want to learn about the game, you want to become better at the game. It's kind of like you watch sports, I would say. But for me, it's oh. different. I think no one watches me to get from better at games. <laughs> People watch me to just be entertained and feel like they're hanging out. Never let go! That you're like their friend. And you're hanging yeah. out with their, they're hanging yeah. out with their in, friend. You know, in a sense, yeah. That's part of the appeal, yeah. What's the other part? Well, it's funny, <laughs> I hope. Don't patronize me, Hasselhoff. I can do it too. Ah! And PewDiePie has now turned his millions of views into a profit. It's coming from my knee. His monthly Rich. earnings oh, estimated to reach okay. up to $1.4 okay. million. Dollars. Whoa, Jesus Christ. I guess for a whole host of reasons, you decided I'm going to quit school and I'm going to start making these videos, right? I just felt like I was on the wrong path in life. It wasn't really what I wanted to do. And uh, I saw that there was this opportunity over here that seemed insane and it seemed too good to be true but I wanted to give it a shot at least. And I'm here now and um, I'm lucky it worked out. I feel so freaking pumped to play this game. What did your parents think? I know your parents are quite successful kind of corporate executive types, <laughs> I understand. And how did they feel when you said, hey, this is what I want to do? Did they think you were nuts? Uh, I think any parents would think that, yeah. But uh, I think once they saw the fans' reactions, they understood that it meant so much to so many people what I was actually doing. That's when they realize, okay, this is actually a thing. It's a trend that's now being referred to as the let's play phenomenon, where watching someone play a video game is as entertaining as playing the game itself. In fact, it's so popular that the website Twitch, which streams live let's play videos, has reached the fourth most visited site on the web, above Facebook and Amazon. Meanwhile, the PewDiePie brand continues to grow. This is Katie Kirk playing with PewDiePie, <laughs> and we're playing the game that you actually created. I couldn't call it a day without stepping into PewDiePie's world. Let's go to level Let's one. Let's do level one. I can oh, tell really? you're anxious to play. Yay, what, what did I just win? A duck. A duck. Yes. Oh, oh let me go downstairs. Watch out for the brown. Oh. Watch out for the brown. Ah. Why are you swearing? You can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to have to plate this <laughs> out. Shoot. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Where am I going? Go right, go right, wait, wait, go right. Ah. Yes. Jump, you're doing amazing. Jump, 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 jump. jump. Ah. No, you gotta tap it. Oh. It's okay, you killed my dog, no big deal. After a few minutes, I realized why so many viewers keep coming back for more. Ah. Jump, jump, jump. Ah. <laughs> this is to calm down a little bit. Okay, <laughs> sorry. You have a whole group of followers that call themselves um, 
the bro army. The bros, the bros, yes. <laughs> so where did this whole bros thing come from? <laughs> it started, ironically, a long time ago. I would play horror games oh. to make myself less oh. scared. I would call him oh, bro. Oh, bro, nah, bro, nah, bro, 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 bro. It just spawned from there. Even the girls who follow you are called bros, yeah, right? Yeah, they like that. I, no one has a problem with that. And, and surprising, perhaps, maybe not to you, but you have a lot of female fans. I think that's cool. Yeah. Especially with gaming or whatever. I think most people think it's just guys, but it's cool to see that anyone can enjoy it. And I feel like I, then I've done my job. Ah! This loyal fan base is following him as he launches new ventures. Am I signing all of these? His first book, number one on the New York Times young adult paperback bestseller list. Next year, he'll be releasing a new series on YouTube Red called Scare PewDiePie. Do you think that at some point you might be too old to be PewDiePie? I mean, yeah, it seems ridiculous if I'm like, four, or like, I don't know, 70 and I'm just sitting, sitting playing games, <laughs> commentating like I am now. I feel like already in these five years, my content has evolved a lot and I think it will keep, keep evolving. Do you see yourself continuing to do this or do you want to use this as a springboard for other opportunities? It's true, a lot of people do want to use YouTube as a springboard and fair play. But for me, I, it started as a passion for gaming, and that's what I want to keep doing. This is making me so anxious. For Nightline, I'm Katie Couric in New York.